Hi, um, I want to talk to you about the uh, Hello World uh, program that we're about to do, but before I do that, I want to talk to you a little about what is HTML. So, um, let me just pose the question, um, what is HTML and how does it fit in the grand scheme of stuff with it as well? So, what HTML stands for is actually it stands for is um, what's, what's the standard um, markup language um, that we use in the web world that for creating web pages. That's all it is with as well. So it actually stands for hypertext transfer, uh, hypertext, uh, hyper, yeah, um, let, me, let me rephrase this. It stands for the hypertext markup language. That's what it stands for with it as well. So um, HTML stands for um, for hyper H is for the hyper text markup language. Okay, it's just a one of those program language that you want to see with it as well. It's not case sensitive. Um, there are deals with tags and some attributes and some properties I'm going to talk to you about. But more important, HTML what it describes is the um, structure uh, of a web page basically with it. So it does the layout, what does it look like, you know, all the stuff that you see. The other piece is that HTML, um, I should really bullet point the Sean and I, but that's all right. Um, but they're all the same, everything is about HTML. It consists of series of elements, that's what you're going to see, uh, of series of, uh, of different elements of elements. So when I talk about elements, there are either tags that you that I talked about and there's attributes and there's head and there's a body to to the structure that you have it's a very well organized structure uh, that there are different elements to it as well the elements actually um, they basically tell you um, tells the browser it tells the browser how to display how uh, to display um, the content. Okay. Um, so the elements they basically represents um, they represents or the way I are depicted it are represents by let's say what's called tags. Okay. Um, we're gonna get into discussion about tags and inside the tag. Um, there's what's called attributes <coughs> um, uh, with what's called values that comes with it or you also hear me use the term properties with it as well so uh, so singular and plural and all that stuff with it right one of the other things you need to realize about HTML is that um, it has um, there are certain sections of the HTML, HTML, so there are tags that label the pieces, label the pieces of uh, content, such as what's called the heading, um, the paragraph, for example, such as know, table, you know, things like table. And this your name of the field, and so on. And I'm on, that's what this entire course is about. Something you know about the browsers, you know, browsers such as your um, Edge, Firefox, Chrome, Safari. You know, these are the different type of browsers that you can have out there with it, um, with it as well. So Safari. You know, browsers that you uh, that you can use to note, note. These browsers are interpreters. They they're basically interpreters of the HTML. And also, I'm going to talk to you about the CSS. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Cascade style sheets and JavaScript. So. Um, 
you're going to get a flavor of everything in here with it in this course. I want to talk to you about this as well. Okay, so let's 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 put this aside. So just to give you what is HTML, what you're going to get into. This is what it looks like right now with it. All right. Um, hold on. Let me let me 